Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is John Hat, and today we are gonna have a look to a basic template. But before we jump into the template, I wanna share with you one example why you should start using this template. So let's say that you are a painter. In order to start, you are gonna need some basic tools like a canvas, paint, paintbrush, and paint palette. So this template is based on the basic tools that you need to start your piece of art. As a painter example, let's say that you found the inspiration and you put the canvas in front of you and then you have to go and take the brush you have to go back and take the paint palette and take the paint so the reason for this template is to have all of these basic tools ready for you and avoid wasting time with all of these small steps there is also some extra tools like paint brush set palette knife masking tape but these extra tools you're gonna need some experience in order to learn how when and which one to use for all of these extra tools I also have an advanced template video. Feel free to check that out. I'm gonna leave the link of the video on the description. Now, with that said, let's write into the template. Okay, so here we have folder with the basic templates. Let me open up and we have a zip and FLB. I will explain later on the difference between templates. So let me open up the zip. Here we have it. And this is the basic template. There is not much going on, even though it looks like there is a lot of things, but that is not, to be honest. Let me start with the master. As you can see here, we have some tools, metering and visuals. And this one is done with butcher. And in here, we basically have a two meters, which is RMS and peak. This one in here, left side is a peak, right side is for RMS. If I open the rest of them, we have an oscilloscope, vector scope and spectrum. We also have a tuner. Just to clarify, if you open the template, it will probably look a bit different than mine. And this is, let me go to option, general settings. It really depends of your settings on the main scaling, on the mixer, but you are going to have exactly the same as I have. You can also close this one. And then if you need to open, double click on it and that's it. Let's say that you cannot see the mini view properly. The reason for that is going to be on general settings. Don't leave limit windows to screen. So if you have this one on, that means that you, this one you can just put away from your uh, main screen. Let's say that you are working with the two different screens, whatever, then probably it's going to be out of this main screen. Okay. So if for whatever reason you cannot see it, just unclick this option and everything is going to appear inside of FL Studio screen, okay? I highly recommend you organize on that way because it's not taking exp space for anything else. It's not bothering me while I'm working or whatever. Especially these two are very handy. So that's the only thing that we have on the master. It's not going to affect the sound at all. Let me just quickly explain the mixer. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It's divided by drums. Then we have a bass, instruments, one till four, and then some effects. And vocal. This right section in here is our groups and sends. You can close it. Yeah. If it bothers you or you have a small screen, whatever, you can close it. And then when you need, just come in here, open up. There is one parametric EQ on each channel is off in all of them. If you need to use it, remember to enable. Every parametric EQ is going to look pretty similar. The band 1 and 7 are off. The reason for that is because it's a low pass filter and high pass filter. Sorry, high pass filter, low pass filter. So if you need to use it, activate, select where you want to cut, that's it. This template is basically for everyone. Unless you do classical music or something like that where you don't normally use that much of trams, in any kind of genre, you're probably going to use uh, trams, bass, instruments, chords, melody, some effects and vocals. If, for example, you don't need the trams, you just have to select all of them, double click, reset select tracks to default and reset select tracks routing. Let's go one by one. Kick and click is going to the kick drum. Clap one, two, and the snare. Going to clap and the snare. Percussion one and two is going to percussion. Then all of the cymbals are going to our cymbals. Bass one and two going to bass group. Instrument one and two going to chords. And the melody going to a melody group. FX1 and 2 going to FX group. These three, vocal 1, vocal 2, vocal 3, are assigned to these three channels in here, which means that you can use uh, these tools, small tools in here, to start recording. 
you also have all of these patterns ready to insert whatever you need. For this template, I create a basic drum kit. Let me show you. Nothing special on it. Here on the channel rock, exactly the same organization that I have in here. Kick and click, claps, snare, percussion one and two, and hi-hats. These are sampler. If you drag and drop audio samples into the playlist, you have audio clips where you cannot uh, modify envelopes, anything like that. It's just an audio clip. The main difference between audio clip and sampler is on sampler, you can definitely do way more things than audio clip, like envelope, you have an LFO, and a few extra things. So all of these are samples. The way how I program this template is, let's say that you want to add some chords, instrument one, piano roll, one, two, three. Okay, let's go back to the playlist and there you have it ready. I also recommend that you rename this one, rename and color. The colors that I use for these templates are this line for the groups and then the individual channels are all of this one on the top. So this one is for the kick drum, claps and snares, percussion, cymbals on yellow, bass green, this light blue for instrument one and two, this cutted blue for uh, instrument three and four, pink for effects and purple for vocals. Okay, so this one is instrument one, light C green, accept, and then you also put the icon. And remember to send it to his channel, which is instrument one. And that's it. And then little by little, you are going to create exactly the same on the channel rack, playlist, picker menu, mixer. You are going to have everything perfectly organized. Let me explain the last thing, which is sense. I create three sense, which is room river, basically a short river. Then you have a large river and then you have a delay. All of these plugins are included in every version of FL Studio, even Butcher, Wave Candy, Fruity River 2 and uh, Fruity Delay 2. So let me just show you how you can add the river. We have the crash in here. You want to add river on it. Click on the crash channel. I just have to click this little arrow and now it's on 100%. It's going to be way too loud. Yep. So you just have to put a bit down this volume in here. There we go. There you have it. And then let's see. I want to add a river, a room river to this hi-hat open. Then I just have to send it to our room breather. Now it's way too loud. Let's put it down. 30%. There we go. Easy as that. Let's say that I want to add also delay. There you have it. Pretty simple. So the difference between the zip and the FLP, the FLP, you are going to have a blank project and there is no audio. You just have to drop your own samples in here. OK, you still have everything as before with your groups, sense, reverb is everything exactly the same. It doesn't have any premix as the, the zip have. It doesn't have any samples. So you can start to drop your own samples in there and start your own mixes. Okay, that's all for me. Hope you like and learn something from this video. If you have any question, please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. My name is John Hatt.